You're going to, you said so, so I want to give you an opportunity if you want to explain that. Sure. Well, this uh, the prosecution memo that I got initially from uh, Mr. Wynn, I had reached out to him about it um, after I had spoken with Mr. Paxson about sending it to him, and I, you know, as lawyers, we, I checked with him. I said, you know, I need to, I'm going to prepare this and send it over. Would it be, um, would it be okay if I use some of the things that you put in here, statutes and reviewed some of the case all that was in there. So, you know, he said, no problem, have at it. So I used that as the basis of what was going to ultimately be an investigative report to turn in at the end. All right, I'm going to show you what is a new exhibit marked 696. 696. I don't think you have it up there. I want to show you, ask you just to look at this document, first of all, and see if you recognize it. Don't testify about the contents or anything. Okay. okay? Mr. Harden, I don't have 696. No, sir, it's a proposed new exhibit. Okay. I don't either. And my question is simply, do you recognize it? Yes, sir. Can you identify what it is without talking about the internal contents? Uh, this is an email uh, from Michael Wynn, dated 9-25-2020, with what appears to be like a Word document attached to it. Thank you. Thank you. And... Did you, what did you do with that document? If anything. With this, I read it and I, I kind of just one ear out the other with it. All right. Now, uh, did that, is that additional information Mr. Wynn prepared for you? Yes, sir. And without going into the contents of the documents, what was the purpose of that particular document? This document uh, appears to be a a list of individuals to approach about an interview. All right. So let me ask you this. Uh, may I have it back? Sure. I move, I move to introduce 696. Objection, hearsay. Hearsay, we already have a record, a, a business records affidavit, which addresses where the reliability of it uh, it is not a statement. It is a suggestion to this man by a co-conspirator in this case, not a co-conspirator with him, but a co-conspirator with the Attorney General and Mr. Paul, as they keep feeding this information in pursuit of their conspiracy. That's and, the reason we offer it. And therein lies the problem, Mr. Harden suggests, as they keep feeding the information. There is zero evidence that Ken Paxton saw this document, participated in this document, created this document before it was sent by Mr. Wynn to Mr. Kamek. And for Mr. Harden to suggest there's not a statement is, just, is belied on the face of the document. Look at the very the first page. The objection is sustained. All right, may I just, just for the record, I have one thing. Mr. Paxton doesn't have to have seen this if there is an actual conspiracy going on. It only needs to be somebody that is a member of that conspiracy, any overt actor making any statement like that. I just want that in the record, Your Honor. I certainly don't want to quarrel with you. 